Young people, let us not grow weary in doing good. If the words are going to win the prize, take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation, soul by soul, on a ship of claim the gospel of hope. This is the vision, achievers, and mission for Christ. An achiever and mission is not easily tired. Tiredness, stress, pressure, all these things can make you stop and quit. But remember, we are not to grow weary in doing good because we know that the Lord enables us and gives us the strength to keep serving in Jesus' name. Keep being blessed and keep being a blessing to others in Jesus' name. Let us worship the Lord tonight, gamers.
Hi, Amer! Welcome back to Be Like Christ segment. I'm Pastor Yam together with Justin, Leanne, and Sophia. Our minds can think of a million things, especially when something makes us happy. And as Christians, how can we keep our thought life together with our actions, pleasing in the Lord? Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Now let's see how Leanne can focus with her studies when she wants to binge watch the newest hit K-Drama. Anna is a freshman college student. She got into her dream school. She also received her dream laptop and updated their Wi-Fi service to 120 Mbps. Her parents also gave her the latest iPhone for her 18th birthday. What should I do? Study? Park Seroji? Oh, he's so foggy! But Anna remembers she has an exam and remember the verse Philippians 4 verse 8 that she needs to keep her thoughts pure now what will she do will she go to netflix and watch the latest episode or will she go read her bible pray and continue to study oh no i really need to finish all of this so that i could achieve my dream to become a top notcher someday after all hebrews 12 verse 11 for the moment, all disciples seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Wow, what a great decision, Anna. What you did is just right. Amers, God wants what's best for us. That's why we need God's wisdom to help us have the discipline and the right skills. That's it for Be Like Christ, Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are achievers in mission. Hello there, Amers. Welcome again to our Amplified segment. This is Pastor James. Let's open our Bibles in Galatians 6 verse 9 to 10. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So then, as we have the opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Then for our object lesson tonight, or phrase that we want to talk about, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Moving forward means not to accept the calamities of life to break you. Just like this pandemic, just like this COVID season. It's been two years, almost, or more than two years. But my friends, young people, this cannot break us in Jesus' name. We keep moving forward. Moving forward, it means that you are willing to continue even during times of great difficulties. Online classes right now has been one of the great difficulties, but you are still alive. You are still standing by the grace of God. Moving forward also implies that you keep fighting until the obstacles, no matter how huge are, overcome. Overcome. What does the Bible say about here? We are more than overcomers in Jesus' name. Young people will live a good life because we have a good God. We are not just surviving during this season, but we are thriving. So we keep doing good in this life and we keep doing good to others just like Jesus because Jesus himself has been good to us and continues to be good to us because God is always a good God. Something good happens, that's about God. Something evil happens, that's the devil. Matthew 9 verse 36 when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. You see, Jesus here had compassion on the people because they were harassed. They were without a shepherd. During this season, it's not just about a season for us to focus on our own needs, but we focus on the needs of others. We focus on how we can be a blessing to others. 
Just like this passage is teaching us, we should not grow weary in doing good. Either good times, either bad times. Non-pandemic, pandemic season, we do not grow weary of doing good to others. To do good is not a one-time decision, but an everyday decision. Just like this Christianity, just like this life that we have in Christ, every day we make a decision, Jesus is my Lord and I will live for the Lord. This is the reason why the scripture reminds us not to grow weary of doing good, not to grow weary of our relationship with the Lord. Why would we grow weary in our relationship with God when that is the relationship that gives us strength? When that is the relationship that sustains us, not the relationship that we have in this world. Think about it, young people. We are not to grow weary. Why? Because weariness is something that Satan, the devil, wants us to encounter. Weariness is something that the devil, Satan, wants us to live. He wants us to live in the realm of weariness. He wants us to live in the realm of negativeness. But there is always hope in the Lord. If we do not allow the Lord to restore us, we will easily give up. So be encouraged tonight, Amers. Be encouraged because the Lord is close to the broken hearted. Psalms 34 verse 18. The Lord is near to the broken hearted and saves the crushed in spirit. This is the reason why we should not grow weary of doing good. Because the Lord saves those who are crushed in the spirit. Maybe you have lost a loved one right now. Maybe you have lost a family member during this pandemic season. Or maybe you lost a loved one from last year. Remember, Amers, the Lord is close to you. The Lord is close to the broken hearted. If we do not allow the Lord to replace our strength, replace with strength, enjoy the weariness, the tiredness, the stress that we are going through, then we will just stop at a certain point. Nehemiah 8 verse 10, Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat and drink sweet wine, and send portions to anyone who has nothing ready. For this day is holy to our Lord, and do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let me repeat that. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength, Amers. Remember that. That is why we can keep moving forward. Because the Lord supplies us the strength to keep moving forward. To keep doing good to others. To keep living a life that is a blessing to others. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Always remember, young people, we are achievers in mission. In Christ. Father, we thank you so much. We can do all things. We can keep living a life that is good. We can live, keep living a life that is a blessing to others. We will not grow weary of doing good, Lord. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest. We do not give up. We will not quit on our faith in you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. It's more than enough for us. Your mercy is sufficient for us. We worship you, Lord. Help us to keep moving forward to keep doing the things that you've been stored for us. And may your will be done upon our lives always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Always remember, we are achievers in mission.